Welcome to webwatchworld.com. This time we're taking a quick look at the Glycine Lagunari 1000. Please visit webwatchworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this wristwatch and many more. By the way, Lagunare is the Italian word for lagoon. Glycine was at the forefront of the recent move towards large-sized watches of over 40 millimeters in diameter, and the Lagunari is one of their biggest at 46 millimeters. This is an interesting dive watch, rated at 1,000 feet, and it has some unique features, like the internally rotating bezel, which is a bit uncommon. This means it has an extra crown, so in addition to the standard screw and crown at 3 o'clock, there's a secondary screw and crown at about the 2 o'clock position that's used to set the internal bezel, as I'll illustrate in a minute. The Lagunare comes in white, as shown here, and it also comes in a darker gray, and less common are the yellow and orange variants with matching straps. There's also a limited edition COSC certified variant, but I'm not sure what that really adds to the watch because this one is extremely accurate, running well within COSC specs with its ETA 2824-2 movement. All of the Lagunades are very nice, and you can see in these close-ups that the indices at 5-minute intervals are raised on a little plinth surrounded by chrome. This gives the watch a very stylish look and a three-dimensional depth that sets it apart from others. The loom is plentiful and it gets very bright, so no problems there. The watch is very easy to read, but one other quirk is that it is lacking minute marks between the five minute indices, so the internal bezel has to be rotated to where the minute hand rests to accurately set the minutes. Not a big deal except for dive watch purists, but the Lagunati is more of a style statement that can be used underwater rather than a true dive watch. Since very few people use mechanical watches for diving anymore anyway, that's also not a big deal. The watch is very nicely made, and the chrome case can be polished to a high finish if necessary. Unscrew the secondary crown to move the bezel, and then the bezel locks in place when the crown is retightened. The watch also hacks, of course, and there is very little slack in the minute hand, which is good. The watch is very thin for a big dive watch at only 10 millimeters thick, so the crown hangs off the bottom of the case but the thinness of the watch is what makes it easier to wear than the huge Glycine Lagunari 3000, also reviewed on webwatchworld.com. Here's the end of a big pen just to illustrate the size of the case. Glycine uses threaded tubes to hold the straps on their big dive watches, so you have to be a little careful with strap changes to make sure the threads don't strip or that the screw heads don't get banged up. The watch comes on this rubber strap that fills the space between the lugs, and it also comes with a leather strap. The Lagunati is available with a bracelet that can sometimes be found as an accessory. The case back is very nice with what I guess is a killer whale. I think this is Glycine's dive watch logo. The watch back also doesn't protrude very much from the case like many other dive watches, which also helps it fit better. So that's a quick look at the Glycine Lagunati 1000. Please read the full review with more photos on webwatchworld.com. Thanks for watching.